Hello, I am Dan from Ace RV Rentals and Sales, and today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new 2022 Dutchman Aspen Trail, model 29BH. Just like always, I'll be giving you the full walkthrough, the outside, and then the inside, so you'll be all set and prepared when renting from us. So for the dimensions of this trailer, uh, it is 33 feet long, and we like to say it is about 12 and a half feet tall. Although it is a little bit shorter than that, we like to give that cushion uh, for the RV. So be careful, keep that 12 and a half feet number in mind when you're dealing with things like parking garages, drive throughs and tunnels. In the front here, we have two standard 20 pound propane tanks. Um, these will last you about a week or so before you'll have to refill them. And if you do have to refill them, truck stations and campsites will do it for you. Your propane will be for things like your water heater, your furnace, your stove, and your fridge when you're not plugged in at a campsite. Behind that here is our house battery, which is for very minor electrical things like your lights, your awning, and your slide out. It'll be powered when you're plugged into your vehicle and your vehicle is running, as well as when you're plugged in at a campsite. So unless you're parked outside somewhere with no electricity at all for a few days, this will not run out and you can just keep it on. We're gonna start on the driver's side here. So we have one big storage area that'll go across the front. And in here we've also placed a few things. We have our hitch ball and our sway bars. Uh, we have a bag here that contains our sewer hose. I'll show you more of that later when I teach you how to dump out the waste tanks. We also have our power cord here. This RV takes 30 amp service. You wanna make sure that your campsite has 30 amp. It'll be a uh, three prong. It'll be on the other side. Uh, over here. So you'll see it has three prongs as opposed to 50 amp which will have four. And then we also have another bag which will give you uh, all the hoses and cords that you'll need for your rental. So in this bag we'll start off with our black wire here. This is our TV cable. I'll show you where to hook this up but this will help you get uh, cable TV at your campsite. We also have our white hose here. This will be both our fresh water and our city water hose. And then lastly, we have a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter. So you can put this on to the end of your power cord um, and it'll connect to like a regular wall outlet, but you should not expect uh, to get the same amount of power. So don't expect, for example, your AC unit on the roof to be working if you're using 15 amp instead of 30. Down here, we have our dumping station. So this will be how we'll dump out our black and gray waste tanks. So you're gonna just take this cap off here you're going to take the sewer hose that I showed you earlier, take the end with the teeth, and you can clip it on this outlet here. You're going to take the other end with your elbow, and then you're going to put this in your sewage at your campsite or wherever else you're dumping. From there, we have two color-coded valves. So on the left, we have our gray valve. That's for our gray water, our sink and shower waste water. And then on the right, we have our black valve for our black tank. That's our toilet water. Right now, both of these valves are in, which means it's closed and nothing is coming out. Uh, we recommend you open up the black one first just by pulling it out and then the gray one to kind of flush out your hose. Once the gauges on the uh, control panel inside say that your tanks are empty, you can push them back in to close it, unscrew your hose, and you're all good to go. We're further along down the driver's side and we have our power cord connector. So you're going to take that um, big uh, black cord here, you're going to hook it up in here, and this will allow all of your major electrical appliances inside to be powered. So that will be your AC unit on the roof, it'll be your microwave, your TVs, as well as all your power outlets in here. Next to the power cord connector, we have our TV cable inlet. So you're gonna take that small black wire I showed you, you're gonna hook it up in here, stick the other end at your post at your campsite to get cable TV. If you don't, that's also okay because this RV also has a antenna. So you can find local channels through the air instead. Onto the back of the trailer, we have just two things to note. We have our spare tire uh, fixed onto the back here, and then we also have our city water inlet. So we have two water inlets. This is our city water as opposed to the fresh water, which I'll show you later. The city water, you're going to take that white hose I showed you, hook it up in here, and then this will allow you to bypass your water tank and allow the water to go straight to the pipes. So uh, when you're at your campsite, you're going to use your city water, um, connect your hose to your pump, and then you'll be able to pump the campsite's water into your trailer. Now onto the passenger side, we have an outside fridge here. This will only work if you're plugged into a campsite, so you'll need shore power for this to work. We also have our propane outlet here, so uh, if you have an external grill at your campsite, you can just hook it up in here, and it will take propane off of your tanks. You won't have to worry about the tank flush valve, this just helps us uh, wash out and sanitize the tanks for the next customer. 
We also have our exhausts for the furnace and the hot water. So of course you expect them to be hot and don't put your hand there. This is our other water inlet. So this is our fresh water inlet. You're gonna take that same white hose, but instead you're going to insert it here. This will be to fill up your tank on the trailer. So if you're boondocking, you're camping without uh, any connections or fixtures, you're gonna take water off of your tank and this will be how you fill it up. We have a few power outlets on the outside here. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you're plugged into your campsite for these to work. We have our front two jacks, we have the switch for that. It'll work the exact same as the back two. And then we also have the other end of our storage compartment. So that concludes the outside portion of this trailer, so we can head inside now. We'll start by pulling on this right here to bring down our entrance steps, just like that. And then we can bring the bottom one down just like that. As for the door, we want to make sure that it swings out all the way. And then we also have our detachable screen door as well. At the entrance, we have a few things to note. We have our fire extinguisher down here, and for safety purposes, the trailer is also equipped with a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide and propane detector inside. Also at the entrance, we have the most important part of the inside of the RV. We have our control panel. So this will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about your trailer. I'll start with the corner here. We have our levels of all of our tanks. So as I push down each of these buttons, they'll light it from empty to full. So for example, your battery is your house battery. I'll hold that down. You can see it is uh, almost dead. We have our fresh for fresh water. I'll hold that down. You can see that that is also empty. Black is your black tank. Your toilet water, you'll see that that is empty as well. We have our gray water. So sink and shower, you can see that is also empty. And then we do not have a second uh, gray waste tank, so you don't have to worry about this button here. This switch here is going to be to extend and retract the awning, which again will run on your house battery. So I'll just hold this down. Your awning will go out about eight feet total and it's only for shade. So if it gets windy or rainy, we suggest you bring it back in. If you want to heat up your water, we can turn on the water heater switch here. So I'll turn this on. Gas means it's using propane gas to heat up your water, which will take up to 15 minutes. So plan that much in advance. We have our switch for the water pump. So if you want to draw water from your tanks, you'll switch this on and you can turn on your faucet. It'll release water. You want to have this off if you're using water from your campsite. In other words, if you're connected to your city water, you want to have your water pump switch off. We have two light switches here. For the exterior, it means the LED strip for the awning. And for the interior, it should be these galley lights, the entrance lights right here. Finally, just like the awning, we have a house battery switch for the slide out, which is out fully. It'll be this box right here on the driver's side. So you can extend it and retract it however we'd like. Starting in the back of the trailer, we have a bedroom here with a sliding privacy door. We have a lot of bunk beds here. You have two on the top. We have one on the bottom. We have a ladder that will connect the two. And we have a little couch that will convert into a bed. Just like a futon, you're gonna pull it up and out just like that. We also have some extra storage space up and down and we have a TV in the middle. Outside of the bedroom, we have a fuse box and circuit breaker box down here. Um, we'll give you some extra fuses for your rentals, so in case anything happens, you know where the fuse box is. To our right here, we have our bathroom. So it'll be right outside of this bedroom, and we have pretty much everything here standard. We have our toilet down here. You're just going to push on this pedal down here to flush it. Make sure that your water pump is on or you're plugged into your city water for that to work. The toilet paper is RV specific, so you want to go to Walmart, the camping section, or campsites will also sell uh, RV Marine dissolvable toilet paper. We'll also give you little bottles of solution uh, for your toilet, just in case the smell comes up from the black tank that'll help get rid of it just by pouring a little bit down there. Um, behind me, we also have our standard sink and standard shower here. Outside of the bathroom, we have our thermostat here. So all you want to do is just keep pressing this button to cycle through the different modes. So right now you can see we're set to off. I'll press it once. Now I'll say auto with the fan icon that will turn on the fan for you. I'll press it one more time. The snowflake means that the compressor is engaged and it'll be the AC. And we can control the temperature with the up and down arrows here. I'll press it one more time. Now the furnace is on. That'll use a little bit of your house battery and a little bit of your propane to get that working. 
and then I'll press it one more time and we're back to off. Next we'll continue with the kitchen. So we have a very big fridge uh, and a freezer. So this will be running on propane when you're not plugged in on a campsite. And then when you do plug into a campsite, it will automatically switch over to electricity. So no matter what, your fridge will stay on during your entire trip. We also have our microwave up above here. It's just a standard house microwave. You want to make sure that you're plugged in at your campsite for this to work. And below that, we have a stove and oven, both of which will run on propane. So all you want to do, we have our three dials for the three burners here. I can just set this to high, we'll hear the propane come out, and then we can spark it like this. The final dial will be for our oven. We can just come down here, the exact same thing, we can set it to the fire option to light it, and then hit the spark. We also have our night lights here. And lastly, we have our kitchen sink right here. In the front, we have two entry doors into the master bedroom. So in here, of course, the bed will take up most of the space, but we also have some storage on both sides. We can hang our clothes in here, we have a pole, and then we also have our TV on the other side. In the living area, we have another TV. We have our sound system here, so there'll be a radio, you can also connect your uh, phone with Bluetooth, and then we have speakers on the inside and the outside. And then we also have an electric fireplace at the bottom here. To open the windows, all you want to do is just pull this latch out and then open it up. Not the whole way though because this is an emergency exit. And then for the blinds, they're just pulled down and then just push it back up. In the living room, we have both a dinette and a couch, both of which can turn into beds. And I will start with the couch here. First, you'll notice that both of these couches are recliners. You can just push on this to lift up the footrest. And secondly, just like the couch in the back bedroom, we can lift this up and out like a futon, and here is our bed. For the dinette, we'll start by taking these cushions out on both sides. You'll notice that we have some storage space underneath both of these seats. From there, we're going to take the tabletop and the poles out just by wiggling them out of their place. The same goes for the poles here, you can just wiggle them out. Then we can take our tabletop and just rest it on these ledges here. And lastly, we can take our cushions, put them in this format, and here is our bed. As far as the keys go, we have our purple key here. This will be for both locks on the cabin door. And then we have our silver key here. This will be for all of the outside compartments. We also have our contact information on this keychain, so you can give us a call if you have any questions about your rental. And we'll also give you a separate 24-7 roadside assistance number uh, during your rental for any questions or concerns that you may have. This RV is new, so we don't have the envelope yet, but we will also give you an envelope containing some extra fuses for your fuse box, as well as a copy of the registration, um, that 24-7 roadside assistance number I talked about, as well as an online uh, QR code that you can scan for a guy slash FAQ for most of your questions. And that'll be it for our 2022 Dutchman Aspen Trail Model 29BH. I'm Dan from A3 Rentals and Sales, and have a great trip.